Hello everyone, welcome to this overview video for Plymouth Isle V3. As you can see, we are here on the launch screen for The Sims 3 because I'm going to show you there's two different flavors here for version 3. There's Plymouth Isle version 3, which is just going to be a blank map, and then Plymouth Isle with community lots. So this is the first time that Plymouth Isle is going to be available with community lots um, just you know from the get-go. So uh, I'm going to show you both of these different worlds in this video uh, so you can kind of get an idea of what they look like. All right, everyone, welcome to Plymouth Isle with Community Lots. So this is now available for download. You can find a link to the download page in the description below. And as you can see, when you come to the game here, we have uh, Plymouth Isle with the Community Lots. So uh, the main changes of the version 3 over version 2 is kind of in this wharf area. So if you watched episode 33, you'll have seen me kind of add on this entire peninsula here, creating this kind of bay or harbor area. And the reason I did this is because it just felt wrong to have these kind of um, docks here, these marinas here, uh, just open to the uh, ocean. So I decided that on this side, I'd add this kind of seawall here using the same uh, wall materials. Actually, let me go into edit town real quick uh, so I can zoom in a bit. Using the same uh, wall uh, that I was using here as these retaining walls. So I kind of extended that out along here. So the marina in here is protected. And I know it looks like there's no boats in it. It's just because I'm in edit town, so it's not fully loaded. but there are boats, don't worry. Uh, so your imaginary, well I guess it's not imaginary because you know Sims can actually use the boats. So they kind of boat around here so they can kind of come in and it just looks more protected. And I did the same thing over here and actually moved the lighthouse to this peninsula and removed the island that used to be out over this way. So there used to be an island over here and now it's gone. Instead I kind of extended the land here. But yeah, those are the main changes uh, for version 3. I also moved a lot that used to be on that island over to this peninsula here. So yeah, that's the main change. Uh, there's also, you know, um, all the lots here. The lots have gone through, you know, various stages. Uh, but anyway, you can see here in the little picture, there's the boats uh, in these marinas. So there's two marinas. They're a little bit different. And of course, we have like the ferry terminal and all that kind of stuff here. So there's no houses included in this version. Um, when I'm finished with all the houses, there's going to be one final uh, uh, Plymouth Isle world that will include all the lots. So this one is just community lots. Uh, if you want the houses that I've made so far, you'll have to download them separately and add them in. But yeah, I tried to correct some of the lot tearing issues that I was having with version 2, but as you can see, they're still kind of here. Um, I tried my best, but there really, at a certain point, isn't too much more that I can do there. Um, now, as before, uh, this world really just requires ambitions, late night, and um, uh, island paradise. Now, you know, this one here with all these lots, I did not actually limit myself to those three packs when I made all these lots. So, you know, these lots, any of these lots could include any items from any expansion pack, stuff pack, or store content, but for the most part, if you have, um, I would say, bes besides, you know, Ambitions, Late Night, and Island Paradise, you should probably have Supernatural and Pets. The main reasons I say that is because the rabbit holes, like the um, City Hall and the school, are from Pets, and then rabbit holes like the, uh, what do you call this, um, the hospital or the medical center, and like the uh, little office building here, those are from uh, supernatural. So, you know, if you don't have those packs, the rabbit holes get replaced. Uh, as for like other stuff, I mean, there might be a few items that get replaced, but it's not a huge deal. For the most part, the buildings still look pretty much the same. Um, and all the other rabbit holes are either base game or they're from um, Late Night, Island Paradise, or uh, Ambitions. You know, actually nothing from Island Paradise in here, but um, well, at least on the, lo on the rabbit hole side of things. Um, but yeah, so you know, you, I would recommend uh, having probably most expansion packs uh, and stuff packs, but you don't have to. And as for store content, the main store content I recommend is for lots like this one here. It's like the restaurant, uh, just having that oven object from the business as usual bistro if you want that one to work. And then like any of the stores, so like this one here, like the antiques shop, and like some of these, uh, some of these lots here have stores on them, like the grocery store and the laundromat have like shops on them. So like say if I go into the lot, they kind of have the shops from the Savvy Seller Collection uh, kit. So that have like this cash register and like the shelving and pedestals and stuff. I mean, again, it's hardly necessary. So if you don't have that stuff, don't worry about it. Uh, you know, the stores will still be there and you can kind of put your own things in there if you want to decorate them. Uh, you know, there's a few other things like some lights and some plans and stuff, but it's so minor that you don't need to worry about it. Um, 
yeah, so I mean, it, it, it helps if you have it, but don't worry about having uh, the store content stuff. So it's still it's still primarily just uh, I would say ambitions, late night island, paradise, um, supernatural, and pets. But anyway, this is the world you can see it here, looking good. Um, again, down link will be in the description below for this version of the world. So besides obviously having all the community lots already included, uh, there's not too much else uh, different, you know, from version two. Just more cosmetic things. Uh, but yeah. I think it looks pretty, pretty good, and I'm very excited about it. So yeah, this is what the world looks like. Now with this version here as well, I just want to mention that I did fix uh, a variety of issues with some of the lots. So for example, the lots on the wharf now have a different terrain paint texture underneath them that is just part of the world. So actually, let's go into one of these lots here, like the tavern, for instance. Uh, there's this terrain paint here uh, is now just on the lot as part of the world. And lots like this one, I did go back and make some adjustments. So I kind of added the uh, invisible items here. Well, they're invisible during gameplay, but these items here, so Sims can actually watch the performance. Um, and I also made some adjustments to lots by like adding in things like um, uh, high level markers for like freeze levels. I fixed the showers in the gym uh, because those were facing the wrong direction and this uh, beach. I actually didn't fix the ones in the pool. Um, I realized that after, but uh, I didn't really want to have to redo the whole pool lockers because they're kind of built in a certain way, but it, it's not a huge deal. But I did fix the showers in the gym uh, and the beach. So yeah, so a bunch of things like that, small things. Uh, uh, one of the things issues was the um, science building was actually a store item from, uh, what world was it? Uh, Lucky Palms. I fixed that. So now it's from the base game. So you don't need to worry about that not being there. But yeah, uh, any real issues with the lots I fixed. So yeah, hopefully there shouldn't be any issues. So just uh, throwing that out there as well before we move on now to the blank version of the world. All right, so right here we have the blank version of Plymouth Isle, uh, version three. So this is, you know, along the lines of what version one and version two were like, you know, it's just a complete empty map here. And of course you can download any of the lots that you want individually as well. There, I'm gonna make a new lot map for version three. So you'll be able to find that link in the description below. And yeah, so essentially this is the blank version of the world. It's the same as the one with the community lots. It just doesn't have them included. So you can kind of see the kind of wharf area here, the harbor area, you know, with that kind of terrain paint there, but it has the same changes with the peninsula and, you know, the lighthouse being moved. But otherwise, as you can see, it's pretty much all the same kind of stuff. So yeah, I hope that you, uh, you know, have downloaded Plymouth Isle. If you haven't yet, I hope that you do download it uh, because it's really, it was really um, a lot of work to make this, but also a lot of fun. And I hope that you guys enjoy the world. Uh, I will be building houses for the world as well. So don't worry about that. I've already made several uh, and I will actually put them together in a playlist uh, as well so that you can easily find the Plymouth Isle specific house design videos. Um, but yeah. So essentially, I'm going to continue the series um, with, well, not really continuing the series. Um, episode 33 was the last episode of Plymouth Isle, but I'll be continuing to make houses for Plymouth Isle as part of my house design series. And, you know, I don't know how long it's going to take, but once I'm finished with all the houses, and I'm probably not going to fill out the entire world with houses, um, but once I'm finished and I feel like the world's at a complete point, I'm going to release it with every lot included. So all the houses and, and uh, community lots as well. Um, as far as families living in the world, like having families pre-included in houses, I'm not 100% 100 sure what I'm going to do with that yet. So, you know, that's still, you know, we're going to we're gonna see what happens uh, with that. So, you know, the final release of the world is still a little ways out, but I don't intend on making a version for in, you know, per se, and making any more changes to the world itself, I would say it's pretty much done. I know it's not like 100% perfect, but if I was going to sit here and try to fix every single little thing um, over and over, it's going to take me forever. So at a certain point, I have to, you know, uh, call off my perfectionism and just accept it as it is. But I'm still really happy with it. I think it turned out really well, and I'm happy with all the changes that I made here uh, with version 3. I think it just is kind of the best version of the world so far, which I guess I'd hope it would be. But yeah, anyway, I hope that you en have enjoyed this series, and I hope that you continue watching with the house design videos that I make for the world. And again, the link to download it will be in the description below. It'll take you to a page that has kind of all the information that you'll need for the world. And you can also, of course, download either this blank one or the one with the community lots included, or you can download both if you want to, it's up to you. But anyway, I hope that you enjoyed, and I hope to see you next time. Have a great day, everyone.